All right, let's get to the bottom of this whole passive skills thing in PAL world because it's mostly RNG, but people are reporting that it can be manipulated in some kind of way. So let's see what's going on. Now, if people are saying like ABC plus BCD, those are going to be the different passives like one, two, three, four. So I've been breeding Anubis with ABC BCD method, 100 eggs for me to finally get a single perfect all four Anubis. So it's either unlucky or the three plus three is terrible. After experimenting though, they say that AB plus CD seems to be the way and they got four perfect Anubis in about 30 eggs. Then at the bottom, having four plus four is a high chance, maybe one in 10. Now this person says ABCD and nothing always gets the perfect child within 15 eggs, usually 10. Two plus two works most of the time, but you can get a bad run that takes 30 plus. And at the bottom, the person just says, yeah, just do what's best for you. But that's not how numbers work. So until we get a fully fleshed out data mine, that's like, oh, by the way, here's the exact inheritance odds per slot. It's really just kind of anecdotal plus testing plus feel. Great. I also saw a post where someone said, yo, if you actually breed a nothing pal of like a legendary or something, you want to keep those for the breeding chains for passives. So we're going to see how that works out as well. So I can actually put this lucky and artisan Anubis and kind of see what one plus one does and how those other slots fill. And then we can start actually like putting together some other breeding chains. And I'm not going for like the perfect Anubis. I'm just going for testing to see what the results are. Now, in trying to set this up, it's even hard to find like random combinations to test with, even though I have a lot of Anubis breed jacks. But as you can see, people are talking about breeding dozens and hundreds of a pal to try to get the perfect one. So maybe you'll actually get like an okay one that can then optimize your passive skill breeding, but still pretty tough. Also, depending on the pals that you're catching, if you're trying to go for legendary pals, if you catch one, it's going to have a guaranteed thing like Earth Emperor. But with Anubis, you can actually like breed other species into it. So there's also going to be like other species of pals that can make this optimal. All right, so finding out everything about how pal world works is very tiring, which is why I drink G Fuel. Use code Verlicify for 20% off your G Fuel order. If you go to the sales tab, it stacks with those. So you can get 13% off plus 20% or find a flavor that sounds tasty to you and you really can't go wrong. All right, it's time to hatch a lot of eggs and see what we get. So this one is going to be from just the one, which means we're looking for Lucky and Artisan. Okay, very interesting. We just got a lot of Artisan, Lucky, Anubis, and then like some other random ones where it just fills in and then you have four and sometimes you get like a burly body on top of that. Not all of them are hits. We just have like random Artisan, random other stuff, Lucky Nimble, and then some other ones. So if you're starting a breeding chain, depending on how the two and two goes, yeah, you just want like have all four against like single pals and then funnel it into a breeding chain. So all of these are pacifist, sadist, artisan, clumsy. Let's see how many four we get. All right, so in that run, we actually got two that have artisan, sadist, pacifist, clumsy. Two in 14, that's actually pretty crazy. All right, for this one, I want to see what happens if I try to insert just one. So we have three, Sadist, Aggressive, Artisan, and then Lucky. Okay, so in 10 eggs, I actually got a four perfect passive with ABC plus D. And the interesting thing is I got a lot of two from this as well that have the beneficial ones I'm looking for. So we have like Lucky Sadist over here, Artisan Sadist, Lucky Aggressive, which means you can probably get an AB plus CD pair out of an ABC plus D. I don't really see too much of a difference between those two. All right, so just in those six eggs, we're looking for Lucky, Diet Lover, Work Slave, Burly Body. Lucky, Diet Lover, Work Slave, Burly Body. So the four zero. Now I don't know if it's just me, but the ones that missed looked a little weirder. Like there was more variance on the misses, but you still have a good chance of just getting the four that you want. However, it doesn't seem bad because we got Burly Body, Lucky, Stronghold Strategist, Veil of Darkness. Now two of those are not what we're looking for, but could just get like a positive mutation of what you're going for. And then this took away the Lucky and gave us Mind Foreman instead. All right, more data. So we have ABCD plus ABCD. And so far out of nine eggs, we haven't gotten all four. However, they do look pretty close. Like we're seeing a lot of the similar ones. And we have stuff like this to where we are getting Sadist, Pacifist, Artisan, Sadist, Clumsy, Artisan. So, you know, 75% of the way there. However, ABC, 
plus ABD is just the weirdest and the worst. We have Legend Artisan, Legend, Artisan, Artisan. This one just picked up stuff that doesn't even make sense. So we have Aggressive Legend Swift, Aggressive Swift Artisan. And then this one just only has the Aggressive and then picked up three other random ones. And this one has Swift Legend Aggressive, but then missed on the Brittle. Now the sample size is smaller because it just takes a lot of time. I'm running out of cake and patience. But it looks like what people are saying that having like a three and three of all the parts you want is just the worst. Way too many mutations, way too inconsistent. The four and four also doesn't seem like it has a lot of consistency, but then when it comes to AB plus CD or any other combination, like as long as it's just the four unique scattered about the pals, however, it actually seems like pretty good odds that you're going to get what you're looking for. Now, maybe I got lucky with some, unlucky for others. Your luck is also going to be different and kind of crazy. Um, after just like testing random ones and finding all kinds of random pals, it does seem like there's more variance if you just start overlapping or adding like other ones into the breeding system. Okay, so let's recap. Breeding parents that have A and B look pretty likely to give you AB. That means you can also do a C and D breeding pair and then breed those offspring because AB plus CD also seems fairly consistent. But if you end up with like a four zero, so ABD plus nothing, that's actually gonna be pretty good for giving you what you want. Same thing for A plus BCD. And then like some of the other mutations, cause you're just gonna to have tons of breed jacks no matter what, you're gonna have a lot of misses, you could potentially get very unlucky. So with that, you can also find the bits and pieces to kind of build out other breeding chains. Just from all the random Anubis I've ended up with and the other species that I've been breeding, it seems like you can get away with an AB plus BCDE and then maybe also get a mutation just, that just has like two or three of what you're looking for, and that can expand your breeding chain. Also, it's recommended to have a base dedicated for breeding. That way you can have multiple breeding pairs giving you multiple kinds of offsprings with all kinds of different passives, and then you can keep pairing them off and splitting them up. But the big takeaway here is that it's not completely random, and some of your choices matter. Now, in my experience, it's not terrible to start off random for babies and then optimize it when you're trying to like finish off a breeding chain, even though it does get kind of rough on the huge eggs because those can take two hours or more to hatch, which means you're going to need a ton of egg incubators. And then it's just gonna be like major batches of, okay, what did I get after a day of waiting or after hours of just AFKing and then seeing if you have something to work with? It also means random pals that you've caught with a single beneficial passive or two beneficial passives are really good to hold on to because of my other breeding guides I've done where the breeding chains mean you can almost breed anything with anything except for legendaries and Jormantide Ignis that only breed with themselves. So that's going to take a lot of RNG where you have to catch multiple jet dragons, breed them together, have some RNG stuff, wait on huge eggs. So getting perfect legendaries gets kind of rough. But Anubis has tons of breeding combinations, which is also why it's really good to hold on to random pals with random passives because you might be able to like chain something decent into Anubis, but it also means breeding for these pals could be very beneficial. So like randomly getting some dire howl eggs that might have ABC or AD or something like that, and then breeding them with the other side could also give you an Anubis pretty quickly, which is why I say like, yeah, you just need to always be breeding something that's aiming for your goal and then when you're going for it, as long as you have only those four between any of the parents, it seems about as likely. I, I feel like AB plus CD isn't too much better than ABC plus D. And that's before IVs come into play. So you want to get IVs first when breeding, then aim for passives. So it could actually just take a week of hardcore grinding just to get like one pal with everything perfect or at least good enough like if you're 90 percent plus on the ivs you should probably take it and then everything else is crazy legendaries are crazy because the alpha pals have better stats like you can't breed a jet dragon with 10,000 health so maybe like sometimes wild alpha pals can be better if you just farm for those but those are also on a set respawn limit and then Jet Dragon doesn't need like 10,000 health to win anyways. So you probably just want to breed them. And then it can take a very long time to get the most perfect pals possible. So there we go, guys. That is the breakdown of breeding perfect passives in Pal World. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.